Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today's video is like a prep and pack me because I'm off to Copenhagen tomorrow. I am so excited um, and I just have a few things that I want to do beforehand. I'm literally heading to get my hair cut now, um, hoping they can fit me in because they normally just tell me to come along if I want my bangs done. I haven't had them done since before December, so should really get that done. I need to do it anyway. Seemed like a good timing. Um, and then I need to pop to the shops and get a few items. Hoping to do a little like face mask tonight. Um, yeah, and just kind of get myself sorted. I have a coat coming, which I'm really excited about. I've rented. So I'm hoping to show you guys that. And then I'm going to be sorting out my outfits today and then packing my bag. So I thought I'd bring you all along. Let's do it. Hopefully they managed to fit me in at the salon, uh, which was so, so nice. Literally so grateful. Um, and they don't actually even charge for it. So it's such a nice treat. I love it when my bangs are done. By the time I got home, my coat had actually arrived and I was super excited to see it. Literally not disappointed at all. The colour is just so gorgeous and exactly what I was looking for. So I rented it from Loan The Look for £60 about for four days, which I honestly think is such a bargain. Cute coat from a company called Jack. I haven't heard them before, but I found them, literally fell in love with their colours. Um, and the coat itself is made from recycled polyester vegan leather. Um, so kind of sustainable, but I just fell in love with the 60s look. And since I'm renting it anyway, I didn't really mind. Okay, so I'm on to the best part of any trip, which is outfit planning. Um, so I'm going to be trying on a couple of different outfits using this green coat because that's the only coat I'm going to be bringing. When, like I said, we're only going for like 24 hours. So... I can't afford to pack more than one coat. It's not gonna fit in my hand luggage. So yeah, I need to build two outfits that work around one green coat. And what I'm gonna do is try on like three, four, five outfits. And then I'm not gonna let you know which one I'm gonna pick uh, because you'll see that in the vlog that I'm doing on Copenhagen. So keep a little bit of mystery. First look, all black, like I've got a turtleneck and I've got black suit trousers. I've got black like pointy shoes. And to be honest, I think it slaps. I have a matching claw clip because doing my hair with this coat is gonna be so interesting. I don't know if I like this or not. Let me know what you think. Second look, I've just switched out the bottoms for straight leg blue jeans and I'm not 100% on this color combination. Um, I tried it on with a different black top just to see if it was the turtleneck like too closed up look but I'm just not sure on the jeans themselves. I do kind of like this matching green on top. Tried it with the blue and with the black and definitely prefer the black so this is a massive potential one. I do kind of like this. Such a deep moment with the all white. I'm absolutely in love with this. I can tell you now this is definitely going in the suitcase so much of a surprise. Um, I think it's so cool. And then tried brown, wasn't 100% sure on it, but I do kind of like it in like post-production looking at it on my screen. So be curious to know what you guys think. I tried it on with a black top as well, which I think I prefer, um, but I just love the brown bag and the brown trousers. This is such a cute look. Okay, we're on to like the more organizational part of the vlog now because I'm doing a pack with me. Um, I just recently thrifted this bag. Isn't it adorable? From Depop. I don't think like they even use it. So technically it's new, but to me it's second hand. But it's so, so cute. I love it. It's such like a grown up tote bag. Right, let's see what I've put in here. I've literally just shoved it all in, depending on what I think is going to work. And I might have to like review as we go. But I have my toiletries. Like I said, we're literally going for a night. So I've been really sparse with what I'm bringing literally like a dab of face wash a dab of moisturizer like it's like a massive tub with literally like the tiniest little bit but that's fine um yeah just what i don't think i can live without for 24 hours so some things in there that face halo oh my god so good will take off my makeup so well and obviously because i'm going to be on camera i'm going to be wearing like heavier makeup than usual so i was sure to pack that so good have my book which is near to the wild heart 
very very excited to read this so I've shoved it in just because it's like a three hour plane ride and I'm not planning on bringing any other kind of entertainment other than music so I should get a good way through this. I've got my sunglasses because I think it's supposed to be cloudy in Copenhagen but you never know and I always want my sunglasses so figured I'd pack them. Um, I've got my makeup bag which is just a really small one with barely anything in it literally just like maybe like two brushes and then just like the basics what else oh yeah i've got a couple of protein bars these are the deliciously ella ones oh my god so good expensive but so worth it in my opinion um because i'm not sure what time we're landing in copenhagen but i know i'm like almost immediately going to work and if I don't eat, I get hangry. So I've popped a couple of those in just in case like there's not enough time for me to eat until like later on. Um, I can just scoff one of those. I've got my wallet, obviously. I've got passports. I've got my reusable water bottle, which I actually bought in Amsterdam. Um, so cute on a school trip like six years ago and I still travel with it because it's just the perfect size. So I'll be filling that up got a toothbrush which couldn't fit in my toiletries ibuprofen literally a godsend got my roller hairbrush um which should help you know lift my bangs normally i like zhuzh like that <laughs> and dry like that um yeah i think it's a it's obviously a big one and i'm a little bit concerned about space so if i find once i put the clothes in that i don't have space this may be the one to go and i replace it with my like mini travel hairbrush but I've packed it for now and I'm hoping I can bring this one instead. Travel adapter. I've got my microphones because I'm obviously working over there and I'm going to be using my own microphones to do interviews and stuff. And last thing, my vlog camera, which will hopefully probably be like strapped around me at all times, to be honest. So maybe I don't need to worry about space with this one. Um, but yeah, because I want to bring you guys along and I don't want to compromise on my phone battery because obviously I'm going to need that for work. So we're going to be vlogging. But yeah, that's everything. Bag is empty. Um, so obviously I've not packed any clothes in that. This is just kind of like my miscellaneous stuff to travel with. But I will obviously be packing hopefully a small amount of items, um, as small as I can get away with because I am running out of real estate in my bag. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna show you that. So it's a surprise on the vlog what I'm wearing. But anyway, I think I'll go on to pampering now. Um, I have a few things to do. I wanna do, I've got face masks that I wanna do. Um, I need to trim my eyebrows. Um, I need to, paint my nails like just a clear coat and like give them a bit of a a, a shaping that's what I'm looking for um yeah I think that's everything I want to do in terms of packing and prep so I'll show you guys all the like pampering I'm gonna do <laughs>